a uh, Hindu minor girl who was forcibly converted to Islam renounces Islam. Pakistani mullahs demand the death penalty. What? This is not yeah. even Islam. Okay, go on. Kelsey Priest. Radical Islamic clerics in Pakistan are up in arms after a minor Hindu girl, Meha Kumari, renounced Islam. She said she had not accepted Islam of her own free will, but was forced to do so and also to lie about it. Mm. While the cases of forceful conversions have always existed in Pakistan, a significant spike has been, have been registered lately. Her subsequent kidnapping and forced conversion ignited widespread protests and condemnation by the minority Hindu community in Pakistan, which said that a nexus between government officials and Islamic clerics was acting behind forced conversions, which were happening all over the country. The court has not announced any verdict, and but we have been given a time frame of 11 days, saying the council added that the next hearing is February 18th. So, yeah, and the mullahs and Islamists are saying that she, because she insulted Islam, that she um, needs to wait. Be how put did to she? Death how did she insult Islam? By leaving it. <laughs> it's a pot. You know, she was. Wow. I mean, it's these a posse, <laughs> and they also said that because she lied about, because she also lied about saying that she wasn't forced. Also, uh... and she's fourteen, I think. And so this Ooh. happened. She's fourteen now. So presumably, this happened. You know, I, I think. She might have even been 13 when it happened. So she's not just young. She's really young. She might have even been younger when it happened. And she was kidnapped. And she had previously made a statement in the court saying that this had all been of her free will. But now she's saying that they forced her to lie about it, too. These mullahs are a caricature of themselves, right? Like you, you sometimes make joke about jokes about what they find insulting. Like they find everything we say about Islam insulting, no matter how gentle we want to mm -hmm. be. And they're like, "What was? What did she say about Muhammad? That was or Islam. That was so insulting. Did she like swear? Did she say it was like? Nope. She just left it. We find that insulting. Mm -hmm. Like, are you guys like? We we don't even have to make fun of you. You guys just making fun of yourselves. But um. Honestly, to be fair to Islam, and again, I don't say this often, I don't say this often because Islam is the disease that needs to die, right? But to be fair in this situation, these mullahs are not being very Islamic, right? Because if they can't prove that she would, if they cannot Islamically, Islamically, they should side with this girl. Like, they shouldn't be at the side of the death penalty. Again, I'm not defending Islam because it's already very barbaric that you have the death penalty for people who left Islam. That's, you're insane. Your, I, your whole belief system is insane. And so, yeah, that aside, if within the Islamic rules, if, if somebody says, well, I never accepted Islam, I was forced to accept Islam, Technically, they can give her the death penalty because you have to prove that she's wrong. Have well, they're saying that they're rejecting the court, the, the you know probe and the court, and they want to move it to the Sharia court if she's not brought to justice in a manner that they want by the secular court or by the government court. Wow. And they said that um, they, you know, Talking to the media, one of the clerics said that the, as the girl has renounced Islam, they will be acting as the Sharia law in the future. What's Whatever. the name of What's the name of the girl? Her name is. Uh, we should do something. Mihak Kumari. Hmm. Okay, so guys, if you know if of any campaign or anything we could do to bring more attention to this. We need to help out this girl. If if it's not getting enough attention, maybe Atheist Republic could add to it a little bit. But yeah, this oh, is. You froze. No, I'm good. Are you? Do you see oh, me? now you're back. Okay. Did I freeze for just yeah. Rivka or for everybody? You guys, let me know. But I just I was just saying that we need to do something to bring more attention to this case if it's not if it's not getting enough attention. Uh, Pakistan. What the hell, Pakistan? Like Pakistan is. Hell on earth. 
uh, as for for ex-Muslims and atheists and anybody with an opinion about Islam, on Ahmadis and everybody. I mean, what the hell, Pakistan? Like, get. The, I mean, it's so amazing to me that even with all the stuff again, with all this, you know, extreme danger that people are in to speak speak for their rights and speak for atheists, there's still some Pakistanis that take the risk. We have like atheist activists, secular activists, human rights activists uh, in Pakistan. I mean, what? How much of a hero do you have to be to be able to be secular atheist or human rights activism or gay rights activism in Pakistan? Like, I tell you, I am not that brave and I salute all the activists in Pakistan. You guys, you, the activists in Pakistan, the Pakistani activists, you guys will always be my hero. And also Bangladesh, um, Egypt, but more, more than anywhere else, Pakistan, uh, Iran, Bangladesh, and Saudi Arabia. These are, I think, the worst. Yeah. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Top comment is by Ankit. Thanks to the Book of Peace. And Antonia is saying religion, uh, religion of peace poisons everything. What else? What else? Guys, these are... Come up with something original. Yeah, we know. Islam is not a religion of peace. Like, we have moved way past that. Um, okay, let me see if they Okay, Chris is saying, what about a free Sohail style protest? I mean, we didn't make much progress with Sohail. I don't know if we did or not. We tried so hard with Sohail. We need more ideas on what we can do. Okay, so people just comment in the comment section with your ideas on how we could move the needle a little bit. Asrar. I think Asher, who is a Muslim, in the live chat is saying most Pakistanis are grave, wor grave worshipping Sufis, not Muslims. Hey, um, I mean, that's a whole other topic. Uh, this is, I don't know what does that got to do with their story, but I think Asher is a Sunni Muslim and he doesn't approve of Sufi Muslims. But I don't know if the, your stats is right. I think most Pakistani Muslims are Sunni. I mean, so Sufism, if you could be different degrees of Sufi and there's two different kinds of Sufi, you could be like Sunni style Sufi or Shia style Sufi and Shia style Sufis, they don't call themselves Sufi, they call it Irfan rather than Sufism so that they could separate themselves from the Sunni type Sufis and you could be different degrees of Sufi, you could be like very mainstream Sunni or very mainstream Shia and hate everything Sufi or you could be mainstream Sunni and dabble a little bit in Sufism like oh, I like it a little bit but not too much I'm not gonna get too far away from mainstream Islam or you could be full-on Sufi and that's like you know just think some very bizarre I mean out of you know fringe idea I, I not actually sufis are not fringe but something that's uh, their sufis have some very they're kind of the hippies of islam they, <laughs> well the ahmadiyas are hippies too a little bit yeah they're hippies of yeah you're right they're mystics they're kind of hippy dippy mystic Myst yeah mystics of islam and their views are very different from mainstream muslims right but again you don't have to go full-on sufi some people are like in between Okay, so let's Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, 
Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.